I'll have three katsudons, five ramens, and ten curries. All large size. Huh. This guy... That's a total of 10,000 yen. My name is Keita. My dream is to work at every high school kiosk in Japan. There's a cafeteria in this school, so I started working here. Keita, can't believe you ran into him on the first day. He usually brings his own lunch, but sometimes he comes here and starts devouring everything in the cafeteria. When that happens, this place turns into a battlefield. All right, get prepared to fight. Yes. Uh, wait, uh, how many curries did we make? Uh, did I put in the pickled vegetables? Oh, no. Huh? Uh, how many curries did you make? Did you put out any side dishes? Toichi spat like his name spells out. And when he sits down, his chair squeaks. It's so annoying when he sits in front of the class because he blocks the whiteboard. I'm Taichi, a freshman in high school. Akiko, that's too much. Ooh. The girls in my class make fun of me every day because I eat a lot. And the only way to relieve that stress is to eat. I'm home. Give me the usual. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if I'm being presumptuous, but I'm worried about your health. It's fine. If I don't eat, I'll go crazy from the stress. Excuse me. I'll have it ready immediately. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. Oh, no, it's not enough. I'm still hungry. Bring me more food. Five large pizzas, large fries, and large fried chicken now. When I eat, I can forget about the bad things, and it's my greatest happiness. The next day... Akiko, the teacher's calling you. Really? I wonder what it is. Oh, today's lunch is... Huh? There's one extra? Oh, old man's so kind. That's good. Itadakimasu! Alright, time for lunch. Huh? It's gone! Where's my lunchbox? Wait, this empty lunchbox. That's mine! What? Why are you eating my lunch? I have over a hundred lunchboxes, and I had no idea the lunchbox on my desk was Akiku's. It must have been a real shock to see someone else eating her lunch. I continued to apologize. I'm so sorry. Buy something to eat with this instead. I gave her 10,000 yen for lunch. What? You think you can just solve this with money? Her anger didn't seem to subside at all. How can you carry so much lunchboxes to the point where you can't even tell yours from someone else's? That's why you keep getting bigger and it's no wonder you get teased by the other kids. You're still gonna keep eating while listening to me? Uh, it's because you're blaming me like that. Uh, Kiko, I don't think Taichi ate it on purpose either. Don't be so hard on him. This is Nozomi, my classmate. She's very kind and treats me well too. What? Stay out of this! Why would you defend this guy? Oh, are you into guys like this, Nozomi? Uh, uh, no. I felt sorry for Nozomi who couldn't deny it in front of me out of her kindness. Defending a guy like me. Today, we're going to have dance class. Ah, oh boy. Dance lessons. This is gonna be a long... Hey, you better take the dance classes seriously. I heard from a senior. I heard the guys and girls had to folk dance with each other at night at the outdoor camp this fall. Just like that, the dance class started. We danced one by one while being checked. Huh. It's Tai Chi next. There's no way he can dance. <laughs> yeah. I learned ballroom dancing when I was younger when I entered the bourgeoisie. So these simple dances are easy. I performed the most spectacular dance in our class, but... <laughs> a dancing pig, it's so funny! <laughs> My stomach hurts for laughing so much! Even though it was perfectly executed, I was still a laughing stock. <laughs> Even if I was good at him, I never want to dance with him. <laughs> Yeah, no matter how good I am at dancing, I don't want to be paired with someone like that. I'm gonna dance with a handsome boy. It's kind of pissing me off how he's dancing with so much energy. Oh, 
I was dancing with all my might regardless of the stairs around me. I didn't realize Akiko was trying to trip me. Whoa, whoa! Ah, it stinks! What is wrong with you? Ugh. It was a result of moving quickly trying to avoid it. S sorry Are you crazy? Akiko, what a disaster. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm gonna get revenge. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put... in his lunch every day. What is that? That looks crazy. Uh, I don't really know. But apparently this makes your stomach hurt. The next day... Um, can I use the restroom? Tai Chi? Again? Oh, I'm sorry. For some reason, I'm not feeling well today. <laughs> it's working, it's working! He's confused too, but he doesn't seem to realize it. I have to do more. Young man, are you alright? Uh, just a bad day for my stomach. It's fine. I thought it was just an upset stomach that would get better if I eat well, but... Hey, didn't Tai Chi go to the bathroom every five minutes today? Might as well stay in the bathroom. As the days went on, my stomach was feeling worse and worse. Even with that upset stomach, he still eats his lunch, so it's worth the effort. With the old man's suggestion, I finally decided to go to the hospital. Mmm, the test results showed a large amount of beep in your system. Ring any bells? We've detected a large amount of sorbitol in your system. Do you have any idea why? What? Why is that in my system? I have no idea. Did someone put that in my food? My intestines were in pretty bad condition, so I was going to be hospitalized for a while. Taiti, how are you feeling? I brought you today's notes. While I couldn't go to school, Nozomi would visit me every now and then to hand me the notes. She says she's just stopping by on her way home, but I think it's out of her kindness. The class looks so much bigger without him. <sighs> Kiko's group continues to insult Taichi, even after he was hospitalized. Nozomi, you must be sad that your boyfriend isn't here, huh? Huh? No, I don't have that kind of relationship with Taichi. But Kiko really didn't like the fact that I defended Taichi last time. Oh, since you can't find anybody to dance with for the camp, are you using that pig as an insurance? But that pig is hospitalized. Aw, so what a wasted effort. For a dull girl like you, it must be so hard to find a dance partner. I feel bad for you. Since Taichi wasn't here, I became their target. What's wrong with them? You need to say something back too. This is Yuka. We've been friends since middle school, and she's a nice, caring girl. It's true that I'm dull and unpopular. There's no point in fighting. Ah, you're actually so pretty, though. Why don't the other guys in our class realize that? It's so frustrating. Oh, I have an idea. The next day, the morning. Oh, wait, who is that? Did we have such a pretty girl in our class? Oh, she's so cute. She looks like a model. What are you talking about? It's Nozomi. Seriously? You are that pretty? Hey, Nozomi, do you have a boyfriend right now? I always thought you were pretty. Want to be my partner for the next folk dance? I was surprised by this sudden change in the way the boys in my class treated me. Um, I'm not used to having this many people talk to me all at once. Huh, I never paid attention to you before. They're finally realizing how cute you are. Just because Nozomi changed her looks a little bit, she better not get ahead of herself. Right. Who does she think she is? Oh well. It's all the dull boys who are trying to flirt with Nozomi anyways. Shinichi, the only good-looking guy in this low-level class, doesn't seem to be interested at all. Three months have passed since Taichi was hospitalized. Today is the day of outdoor camp self-study. Nozomi, dance with me today! <laughs> no, me. I still wasn't used to the boys' attitudes around me. Wait, Taichi's coming to school from today? How shameless of him to come back on a camping day. Wait, I have an idea. Hey guys, Nozomi's going to be paired with Taichi, 
So you guys need to stay away. No so means into guys like Tai Chi. <laughs> no way. Akiko and the classmates were just running their mouths. Just son. Hey. Huh? Who's that? Is there someone that handsome in our class? He's so good looking. He looks like a model. That's right. Nozomi changed that much too. It's no surprise that guys are too. I don't know who it is, but I need to make the first move. Um. Uh, you're handsome. Would you like to dance with me tonight? Akiko, that's not fair. I want to dance with you too. The girls in the class surrounded him. After a while, when everyone realized who he was... What? You're Tai Chi? If, if you're that good looking, you should have said something from the start. Well, if you're that good looking, I don't mind being your dance partner. I have someone else I want to dance with. What? How can I get rejected by Tai Chi? After being hospitalized, I quickly lost weight due to the effects of the beep. I even thought about eating sweets without the doctor noticing, but... Tai Chi, it's not good to eat well, but I think you should take care of your health. <sighs> Those words came out of pure concern. I was drawn to this kindness, so... Um, Nozomi, thanks for visiting me when I was in the hospital. Would you like to dance with me? What? But I'm not much of a dancer. That's okay. I'll take the lead, yeah? If you don't mind, I'd love to. I've never had this much fun dancing in my life. Okay. You've been so kind to me, even when I was fat. And it made me so happy. So, um... I like you, Nozomi. Would you like to go out with me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I can't believe Nozomi... Ah! Well... Rather than that guy, I still have Shimichi. Uh, hey, Shimichi, you wanna dance with me? Sorry, I'm dancing with her. Why did you tell her? What? You guys were dating? Huh? Are you serious? No way! Oh no, what should I do? Uh, Kiko! Oh no, I think we're the only ones left! The teacher told me to partner up with her! What? Are you kidding me? But if you two pair up, what am I supposed to do? Uh, dance uh, with me? No! Oh, oh, hi there. I'm Daigo. Am I good looking? No. Then am I smart? No. I'm stupid. Not athletic, and there's nothing special about me. Oh, I'm also an introvert. Physically attractive and intelligent. Don't forget athletic. I'm sure none of you think such a perfect guy exists. However, you may be surprised when I get to introducing my family to you. Especially my older brother. I'm home! Leo! I wouldn't expect anything less from you! You came in first out of all the students in Japan! You are doing a great job. Oh, I'm sure you will get into money university. This is my father. My mother passed away when I was young. My father has raised us since. I wouldn't be surprised if a university in the States invited you to study there. <laughs> I am proud to call you my son. I was just lucky. And this is my older brother. His name is Leo. He's a year older than me. He is currently a senior and is getting ready to go to university. He has the highest grade out of all the seniors in Japan. That's crazy. He also has a handsome face. And to top it off, he's super athletic. Life is so unfair. I can't believe you got a full score on your English test. I guess those English tutors I hired for you weren't a waste after all, huh? Oh, it's not that big of a deal. I saw that you got a high score in chemistry too. <laughs> I am glad to see at least one of my sons has inherited my brain. My gosh, first place. Wow. How can Daigo be so different? Uh, what are you sighing for? Where are you going? Up to my room. Hey, don't tell me you're going to watch another one of your stupid animes. When will you learn to be like your brother? Jeez, why do you have to be so incompetent? Why are you like that? I'm going to study. 
<laughs> Psych. There's no way I'm studying. I won't get better grades even if I study hard. Hmm, maybe I'll draw the scene where Pochi eats a snack for the first time. I spend every moment I can making animes in my room. At first, I enjoyed watching anime and reading mangas. Eventually, I started drawing pictures. And I'm currently in the middle of making a short story anime called Pochi Will Go. I hope that someday, many people will love my animes. One day... I can't keep writing about Pochi's daily life. It's getting boring. I'll have to create an incident. Maybe getting in a fight with a big dog while taking a walk outside. It's been so long! Have you been doing good? This is Keita-senpai. He used to work at the kiosk in my high school until recently. Keita-senpai, it's great to see you. I'm doing great, as always. I still buy the mentaiko bread you recommended to me. You see, mentaiko bread is the best product sold in a high school kiosk. Oh yeah, how are things going with the anime making? I remember you telling me you were making an anime about a dog and a grandmother. Oh, uh, things are going smoothly so far. I'm almost finished. That sounds exciting! I would love to read it once you finish! Of course. Oh, but I don't know any voice actors who could help me. Keita-senpai, would you like to try doing the voices for me? Voices? Yes, for the characters in the anime. I have a feeling using you as the voice actor would make the anime great. So that means my voice would be in the anime? Oh wow, that sounds so exciting! Of course I'll do it! I, I appreciate it. Gosh, I am so glad I found a voice actor to complete my anime. I should finish up on the story so we can get on to recording. I was smiling from ear to ear when I got home. To my surprise, my father was waiting for me with a stern face. Um, uh, hi, Dad. What's wrong? Daigo, what the hell is this? You've been drawing stupid pictures instead of studying in your room this whole time? It's not just a drawing, it's for an anime. An anime? I don't know what you're trying to do. How do you expect your grades to improve and you're wasting your time on this? I don't need a son like you. You're worthless! Leo is all I need. I'm kicking you out! What? Wait, where is he taking me? My furious father drove the car for several hours. We arrived in front of a shabby house. This is... Grandma's house. You'll be living here from now on, Daigo. Huh? Wait a second! I'm so sorry! I promise I'll study harder! I swear! I need to say this to avoid any misunderstandings. It's not that I don't like my grandmother. It's just, she's extremely poor and... Summers are excruciatingly hot, and winters are freezing cold! She doesn't have a TV or Wi-Fi. I won't be able to watch any animes or buy mangas. The house is too moldy to keep books there. I can't live a life without any animes or mangas. Please, I'm begging you, forgive me. Why would I ever forgive you? I don't know how many times I've told you to stop wasting your time on ridiculous animes. You fool, you don't deserve to be my son. Don't think of me as your father anymore. D Dad. Oh, is that you, Daigo? I wasn't expecting you. What are you doing? Grandma... What? Well, why don't you come inside? Let me prepare you something nice and warm. <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> oh, sweetie. Come on, don't cry. Here, let's talk about it. My grandmother took my hand and took me into the house. That was the start of my life with her. Ah, uh, so that's why you were outside the house? Oh, you poor thing. Your father can be so cruel at times. Daigo, you haven't done anything wrong. Uh... Your father has always been so self-centered. You can stay here as long as you want, Daigo. Okay, thank you. My grandmother was always kind to me. However, I started to close myself off from the world. I think getting thrown out by my father was too much for me. Daigo, I made some onigiri. Do you want some? Uh, uh... I'll leave them by your door. You can eat them when you get hungry. Grandma loved and cared for me like no other. She never judged me for becoming a shudden. 
She prepared meals for me and always said good morning and good night. Daigo, Grandma's going to sleep now. You should too. Don't stay up too late. A few years later. Uh, I'm so thirsty. Water. I left my room and found my grandmother lying on the cold floor. G grandma D Daigo, I put rice balls in an omelet inside the refrigerator. Grandma! I called an ambulance and rushed her to the hospital. And... She'll need to go through surgery to get better. Uh, surgery? Um, how much will this cost us? Well, I'm sure insurance will cover some of it. But you need to prepare at least a million yen. A million? Grandma's condition was way worse than I had expected. She needed to get surgery. However, we had no money to pay the hospital fees. I desperately searched for a job. Hmm, he hasn't graduated from university, and he's been a shut-in for a while. Even part-time workers have worked harder than he has for the past few years. Nobody considered me valuable enough to hire since I had been a useless nobody. I was starting to feel hopeless, roaming around the city. Anime movie creator. Send your anime movies and become an anime movie creator. Motoboshi Zaibatsu. I've heard of the name. It's famous. I could save Grandma if they hire me. Oh, I know. I have the USB drive for Pochi Will Go. The only thing I had with me when my dad kicked me out was a USB drive. The USB had all the data for the Pochi Will Go anime. Thank God I saved it all. I won't be able to create any new content at my grandmother's house. But I have no other choice. I put the unfinished anime inside an envelope and sent it to Moroboshi Zaibatsu. A few days later, that day, I was searching for a job. Just like I had been searching every day since Grandma was taken to the hospital. Yes? Hi there. I'm Moroboshi from Moroboshi Zaibatsu. I'm sorry for coming unannounced. Do you have time to come to my place? Huh? Moroboshi-san from the famous Moroboshi Zaibatsu suddenly appeared at my door. I followed him and ended up in a huge mansion. Wow. So this is how wealthy people like Mr. Moroboshi live. I don't know if I can call this place a house. Is it a castle? Gosh, look at all that furniture. Amazing. I can use all this for my anime. Let's talk about the anime you sent us. You described Pochi's growth in detail. I enjoyed it. I would love to read more. Would you like to work with us in creating the next part? Are you serious? Of course! I would love to work with you! <laughs> great! I am thankful for finding such a great anime creator. Don't worry. We will pay you a good amount once the anime becomes a big hit. Uh... Um... Yes? I know I'm in no position to ask you this, but my grandmother is in the hospital. She's sick. I'm in desperate need of money right now. Hmm, this must be tough for you. If that's the case, we can pay some of the production costs in advance. We'll pay you more if your anime turns out to be a big hit. But what will happen if it doesn't become a hit? Your anime will be a huge hit. Don't worry, I'm sure of it. After that, I spent the following days putting my all into finishing Pochi Will Go. In the beginning, the story centered around Pochi growing as he battled with a boss dog in the neighborhood. But I wanted to dedicate the anime to my grandmother. So I added an old lady who saves Pochi after he gets severely injured. I changed the story to how Pochi learns strength and kindness through living with the old lady. Ah, <sighs> we're finally finished! Good work. Now we can start preparing to set up the anime to move on to voice recording. Have you decided whom you want to hire as the voice actor? If you haven't, we'll hold auditions to decide who will do Pochi's voice. Oh, I already know the perfect guy to do it. He's a friend of mine. His name is Keita Senpai. Keita? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Keita's here! I've been waiting for this day for a long time! I studied and practiced voice acting after you offered me the job! We're dubbing today, right? Wait, what? Why are you here, Motoboshi? That's what I want to ask you. I didn't know you were Daigo's friend, Keita. Wait, what? 
so you two, you two are friends? Yep. Let me introduce him. This is Murabushi, my best friend slash Superman. <laughs> this is such a nice coincidence. No way! What were the chances? I couldn't believe it. After that, Keita-senpai started recording Pochi's voice, just like he promised me years ago. He was just perfect. I was proud of all I had accomplished. And... We're at the movie preview of Pochi Will Go today. Gosh, I had never cried so much. Seeing the old lady save Pochi's life and watching them live a beautiful life together. Over here, we have the executive producer and director of the movie, Daigo-san. Daigo-san, is Pochi Will Go based on a real story? Daigo-san, I heard Pochi Will Go is your first anime movie series. Daigo-san! Pochi Will Go turned out to be a big hit. The whole country went crazy for it. The box office of the movie passed 30 billion yen. I started off as a high school graduate slash a shut-in, but ended up the most successful anime movie director in Japan. I started receiving countless job offers for new animes. Meanwhile... D Daigo has... Dad, I want more rice. D don't be lazy. Get it yourself. My body feels too heavy. I can't move. Plus, you're right by the kitchen. You idiot boy. You were doing so well until you graduated from university. How could you turn into such a useless hog? Just because you couldn't find a job. Look at you pigging your heart out and using up all my money. Look at everything Daigo has achieved. Grandma, I am so glad you are feeling better now. Daigo, I put you through so much. I heard you make an anime movie to pay for my hospital fees. I am forever grateful. Oh? It's late? I wonder who it is. Hey. You. I am so sorry. I threw out the wrong son. Daigo, you are my only son. I am so proud of you. Huh? I'm sorry. I don't have a father. Huh? Hey! How dare you talk to your father like that! Hi there. Sorry to bother you. I need to talk to Daigo and his grandmother. Will you step aside? Take him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey! Who the hell are you? Let go! No can do. We've got direct orders. Okay, let's go. Grandma, come with us. Grandma, I made this movie just for you. I wanted to make sure you watched it. Shinta, I'm proud of your scores on the test from the other day. You had the highest score in the whole class. Good work. Thank you so much. However, there's just one thing I'm worried about. You're always alone. <laughs> My name is Shinta. I'm a junior. I'm 156 centimeters and weigh 47 kilos. I have zero friends. I never have any problems with other people, although my life is plain and ordinary. I'm content with my life. None of the emotional roller coaster stuff that kids my age go through. Oh my gosh, so you know my Madoka? Who is Madoka? She's won the school beauty pageant, although she's only a sophomore. She has over 300,000 followers, and everybody knows her name. She's famous. She has a porcelain face with sweet eyes and her body is perfectly proportioned. Some guys from an entertainment agency came to see me yesterday. They want me to become famous. Wow! She looks just like a doll. I live in a completely different world than her. I knew we would never cross paths even if we went to the same school. However... Gosh, Madoka has the highest scores out of all the students in our class. Impressive! Is there anything she can't do? Hey guys. Do you know who this Shinta guy is? Shinta? Oh yeah, he's always second. I wonder who he is. Oh, him. He's in our class, but he doesn't have much of a presence. I see. She's always surrounded by friends, and she does after-school activities. But she always comes in first place. On the other hand, I'm friendless and spend all my days studying. And I'm still second. Why don't you show me your taka style dancing? You're a loser, you can do it, right? I even brought these glow in the dark sticks for you! Madoka goes out of her way to pick on me. <laughs> Madoka, 
that is so kind of you. Yo, don't keep Madoka waiting. Get on with it. <laughs> uh, I guess she had her reasons. <laughs> Look at him. I'm taking a video of you right now. I'll make sure to upload it on MoneyTube. I said I'm recording. Smile, will you? Ew, you have the creepiest laugh. I thought this would continue until the day I graduate. But then, one day, it ended abruptly. Madoka's not here today? That sucks! She never gets sick. I wonder what happened. I heard some of the teachers talking earlier, but they said something about a meteorite. She can't come to school for a while because she had to go overseas to get treated. A meteorite? <laughs> Do they actually believe that? I had no idea how the teachers came up with that. But Madoka did stop coming to school after that day. Your little sister Madoka is so energetic. <laughs> She's a lot to handle. But that's one of the reasons why I love her. <laughs> oh, they're not talking about the Madoka I know. It's been a year since Madoka disappeared from school. But I can't help tuning my ears whenever I hear her name. Shinta, snack time! Sweetie, you're always studying. I wish you would spend more time with me. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate everything you do. Oh my gosh, she is gone. Now, I can focus on studying without anybody getting in my way. I'll get into college and have a good life. That's all I should be thinking about right now. You guys! I have a huge announcement! What is it? Answer this first. Who is the most famous person from this school? A famous person? I have no idea. I mean, a year ago, we would have answered Madoka, but she quit school. Yes, Madoka! She's back! I heard she's in one of the sophomore classes! What? Whoa, she survived getting hit by a meteorite? Guys, let's all go to her right now! Okay, Madoka! I'm so glad you're back! Are you all better now? Yep, thanks guys. I'm back for good. We were so worried. You left without saying anything to us. You have no idea how much we missed you, Madoka. You guys, I love you all. Shinta, you look pale. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> you should cut back on studying today. Let's hang out. Crap. My gosh, I can't believe Madoka is back. Hey, but she's been gone for a year. She's in a different grade now. No, she'll definitely round up her friends to pick on me again. What if she gets the whole sophomore class to make fun of me with her? The next day, I was terrified to go to school. But I was shocked to see Madoka. She was different from the Madoka I knew. Ah, Madoka! Why do you have a baby with you? The meteorite was a lie, wasn't it? Were you pregnant? Madoka was holding a baby. She was trembling while her friends showered her with questions. Is it a relative's baby? Wait, are we even allowed to bring babies to school? No, right? Come to think of it, Madoka seems like the type of girl to end up like this. She got pregnant during high school. Pretty girls tend to mature faster than others. Uh, guys, this isn't what it seems. You took a year off school and returned with a baby in your arms. What other explanation is there? Shinta. <laughs> what? Why is she asking me for help? she forgotten what she did to me? How dare she think I would help her after what she made me go through? Shinta... Wait, um, Madoka? Is it just me? That baby is identical to Shinta! <laughs> His face? And the way he laughs? It's just like Shinta! What? Me? After that, the whole school gossiped about Madoka and her baby. Hey, Shinta! I is it true? You and Madoka? No! That's not possible! My classmates kept making absurd accusations about me being the father of the baby. Oh my gosh! I don't know what's going on, but I can't let it slide! I'm going to see Madoka after school to find out the truth! Shinta, you better come with me! No, I want to study! And so, Miyuki, Madoka's best friend, dragged me off. You have no say in this! And forced me to visit Madoka. I thought Madoka was from a wealthy family, but her house looks shabbier than mine. Is she poor? Huh, maybe she isn't home yet. I wonder why. I heard she went home early. Hey, it's open. 
We went inside to find Madoka holding the baby. I changed your diaper and you had your milk. Why won't you stop crying? She was having trouble getting the baby to stop crying. Why are you here, Shinta? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, fine. This baby is my child. Just like everybody thought. I gave birth to her. I told the school and everyone around me that I got injured so I could take time off while I was pregnant. I wasn't going to tell anybody about her, but my mother got sick and is staying at the hospital. There's nobody to take care of her now. I didn't have a choice. I had to bring her to school today. Oh my gosh, I had no idea you were going through such a tough time. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Don't say that. I should have talked to you about it. She's been crying non-stop. Do you think she's sick? Shinta! Mommy is here to help! Who, Who is that? that? Shinta. My mother. I told her to come. The baby won't stop crying, and I doubt any of us can do anything about it. My mother rushed to the baby and handled the situation like a professional. You are so sweaty. You must have been so hot. What the? Maruka is so well-mannered when she's around my mother. Gosh, I can't get over how adorable that baby was, but it wasn't what I was expecting to see. I know. I'm sorry for calling you out. I appreciate your help. Not about that. I'm talking about how the baby looks so much like you. It was like I time traveled back 17 years ago. I don't see the resemblance, but I must look like the baby if my mom says so. You know, I'm relieved. I was happy to see you have friends. She's super cute. <laughs> but why does she look like me? She's Maruka's baby. <laughs> oh no. She must have been so upset that the baby looked like me since she hated me so much. That's why she was so exhausted and frustrated. That's why she couldn't care for the baby well. I should apologize. Not that I did anything to her. Do I have to apologize? But I'm sure she's upset that the baby looks like the guy she hated so much. I wonder who the father is. Everything about her is a mystery. When I got to Madoka's place... Yo, Madoka! How have you been? Did you receive subsidies and childcare allowance for the baby yet? Don't you think we should share the money? What the? Where have you been all this time? A man was talking to her by her door. Oh, I was out on a fishing boat to make money for the baby. Really? Then where's the money? Oh gosh, I don't have it anymore. I really need some money, you know. Can you get 500,000 yen ready for me? I'll come by soon to get it. Thanks, babe. I owe you one. Maruka noticed me standing outside her door with my mouth open. She immediately came running with tears flowing down her face. I... I don't expect you to believe any of this, but one day, at school, one of my friends told me that you were telling people that you hated me. It really hit me hard. I went into despair after hearing that. I went to a club. I was drinking milk when I met him. He looked just like you. I felt fulfilled when I was around him. Things were going great and I started hoping to have his baby. I've always had feelings for you, Shinta. I knew we would never end up together. That's why I hoped for a baby that looked just like you. <laughs> wow. It's been eight years since I last saw my big brother. And the way you phrase it makes it seem like you had feelings for me. Hello! My neighbors gave me some juicy apples. I brought some for you. Wow, thank you so much. Is Shinko doing alright? Yes! I thought about it hard, and I finally came to a conclusion. Madoka had feelings for me? Why did she like me? I have no friends. I'm a loner. The only thing we had in common was getting good grades. Did she think I was cute because I was frustrated that I could never beat her? So she picked on me because she didn't know how to act around me? That makes no sense! But I had to admit that Madoka was the only one in my life who ever reached out to have a connection with me. She's the only person who's ever held an interest in me. Shinko, I brought over a new toy for you! <laughs> in the end, I told Madoka I couldn't accept her feelings. 
There was no way I could ever like her like that. However, Shinko was family. She is my brother's daughter. Wow, I see it now. She looks just like me. <laughs> She's adorable. Madoka, you can rely on us whenever you need to. I appreciate it. Daddy, look! I can do a handstand now! Oh wow, that's amazing! Somehow, I ended up with Madoka. Shinko, Shita, let's have a snack. I baked a cake. Madoka never stops having feelings for me. She wasn't afraid to express it either. Shinko looked exactly like me. Seeing Madoka shower her with love made me fall in love with her deeper than I ever thought I could. When I grow up, I'm going to be just like Daddy and Mommy. I hope you will. Although Daddy didn't have many friends in high school, and your mommy had to take many side roads to get where she wanted to, we have both become loving parents. As for my idiot brother, we couldn't get a hold of him after he left Madoka's house. We hired a detective to look for him. We found out he was locked up. He was in prison in some country overseas for dining and dashing. Still, I guess I should be thankful for his irresponsible actions. I ended up with a precious daughter and a loving wife because of him. <laughs> I guess I'll be off then. I'm full. Keita! Get up! Oh, I'm Keita. My dream is to one day work at all the school stores in the country. This is my sister, Mel. This came in the mail for you. It's for a class reunion. Uh, oh, a, a letter? Mm, but I'm full. Uh, get up already! Are you gonna go or not? I'll mail on the way to school. Uh, 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 high school class reunion? Uh, I guess I'll go. Are you up now? Alright, I'm gonna head out now. Thanks, Alright, bye! Hmm, high school reunion. Man, time flies. Keita, morning! Hey, morning! Keita, you forgot your lunch. Have a good day at school. Thanks! Bring it on! I'm Shuto. I'm popular, good looking, and my family is super rich. Get out of my way, losers! <laughs> I was a winner in life. He throws! <laughs> Bam! Nice hit! It's a home run! Uh, Keita! Yo! Morning! What's the matter, man? Oh, nothing. Yo, check out those nerds in the corner. <laughs> Look how lame they are. Come on, play with us. Uh, I'm good. Hmm, I wonder what's for lunch today. Uh, what's this? Oh, what the? Is this some kind of prank? Huh? Someone put this wad of cash in my desk. What? Me too. Same here. I'm Takeru. As you can see, I'm a nerd. I was the leader of the nerds in my class. One day, we found this wad of cash in our desks. We were pretty confused, then. Hey, that's my money. What are you doing with it? You stole from him? Thief! What? No, it was in our desks. We have no idea how it got there. Yeah, someone must have put it there. You gotta believe us. Stop making excuses. You're gonna pay for this! Dude, stop. You shouldn't be bringing this much cash in school in the first place. <sighs> Screw it. Let's get out of here. Eita, thank you. He looks kind of sad. Hope he's okay. <sighs> Keita saved us today, but we gotta learn to stand up for ourselves. Yeah, I know. Yeah, something has to change. Are you guys gonna go to this? A few years later, we got an invitation for our class reunion. It was from Shuto, the bully who always picked on us. We didn't want to go at first, but we wanted to see Keita. So we decided to attend. Class reunion. Shuto! Long time no see! You haven't changed a bit. This takes me back. Hey guys, thanks for coming. No, oh, that's for the fee. It's on me, so no worries. What? For real? 
but this place looks expensive. You sure? Yeah, my parents gave me their company. I'm a CEO, so it's all good. It's all you can eat, so enjoy. Damn, Shuto. Thanks, man. You're the man. <laughs> I know. Hey, where are the nerds at? Uh, thanks for inviting us. Ah, uh, look at you guys. So lame. Do you guys even work? I bet you don't even have jobs. <laughs> Losers. Why did you even come? <laughs> so, uh, I write my name here? Where's my nameplate? Sorry I'm late. Keita, long time no see. Looking good, Keita. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Thanks. It's good to see you all. Keita, how you been, man? Hey, Shuto. Now, let's party. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Man, we were out of control back in high school. Yeah, remember that time we played baseball in a classroom? <laughs> yeah. But Keita always told you guys to stop. What? I don't remember that. Remember Sada? She always brought him lunch. How is she? Uh, she's good. I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. Uh. All right, guys. Time for the main event. Take out your bank books. I'll go first. I don't mean to brag, but check it out. What? Five hundred thousand dollars? Oh wow! That's amazing. You got five hundred thousand dollars already? <laughs> You're the man. Uh, here's ours. <laughs> you probably have like three cents in there. Uh, here. Let me see. What? No way. What is it? Yes, Yuto. What is it? Tell us. Hey, uh, I better go. Keita? Uh... One million? He's got two million. Takaru has four million. I've never seen so much money before. How the hell is this even possible? Well, uh, we all started a company together. We made this online community for nerds like us, and it became a huge hit. We have the biggest share in the world right now. Wait, are you talking about Money Shibu? No way! I know that website! <laughs> uh, thanks. We just got lucky, I guess. Wow, that's amazing! Yeah, it's all thanks to our users. Hey, where's Keita? He was the reason we came here in the first place. We wanted to thank him for helping us out back in high school, but he was gone. This can't be! I can't believe they have more money than me! <sighs> there you are, Keita! Kaho told me about what happened! Uh, hey... Come on, let's go home. Mm, okay... Keita... Don't worry... I'm sure she'll be back someday. <laughs> Hmm, you got a good eye, mister. That is a lucky necklace, the best one I have. It's indeed precious. A saint who brought miracles in medieval year treasured this necklace. Wow, but uh, I bet it's expensive. Its original price is more than 100,000 yen. But I've lived long enough to gain more than enough. I'll give it to you for 10,000 yen. What? You're giving me something worth 100,000 yen for 10,000 yen? It's still pretty expensive, but... I'll buy it if it's going to bring me a miracle. <laughs> Good luck, mister. Hmm. Let's see what this necklace does for me. You need to keep it on at all times. I'm not allowed to wear it at school. It's a special item. Your teachers won't punish you for it. Yo, that loser is wearing a weird necklace. What an idiot. Doesn't he know the teachers will take it away from him? Huh, this is a special necklace. Nobody will take it away from me. My name is Shingo. I'm a sophomore in high school. Yes, you heard right. I'm a loser. And I don't usually wear jewelry to school. Hey, you right there. Why do you have such an ugly necklace on? You're such a loser. Now you're a creepy loser. Uh, don't let them get to you. This is just a trial to overcome so I can finally find my happiness. 
All of you, sit down. Homeroom is starting. Wait. Shingo! What the hell is that necklace? You're coming with me to my office. Okay. I see. He wants my necklace too. Wait. Why do you have that ridiculous necklace? Did you think you would get away with it? You want to hear the truth about good luck? Yeah, he has a point. Even if it does bring good luck, I guess it doesn't justify me wearing it to school. My family always tells me to be careful about this stuff. No, oh, my necklace! Oh my gosh, what? Huh? Hey, loser! You still have that with you? Oh, thank God. It's not broken. Hey, watch out, loser! Huh? Something is pulling at my bag. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Ew! He ripped her skirt! What a freak face! Gross! Uh oh! Uh, I didn't do it on purpose! <sighs> Shingo, the school called to tell me about you. Did you bring a necklace you bought for 10,000 yen to school? Y yeah. The lady told me to keep it on at all times. Ah. <sighs> They also told me you ripped a girl's skirt. Uh, no, that was just an accident. Oh, yesterday was a nightmare. Jeez, how could you not realize you were getting scammed? You need to be more careful. I bet one day a girl is going to call you out to ask you out. And you're going to find out she's just doing it as a joke. Oh, uh, I'll be careful. My mother scolded me. And my sister insulted me. But, whoa! I'm sorry. Are you okay? Uh, the girl I bumped into is Mizuki, a classmate of mine. She's the quiet type. I see her reading all the time. I think it suits her. Oh, gosh. Even she doesn't like me. I should get changed. But, what? Uh, uh, I forgot something in the classroom. Why is he talking so loudly? Does he think anybody cares? This has Mizuki's PE codes in it! Crap, we must have switched bags when we bumped into each other! Now that I'm here, what do I do? What in the world is that loser doing here? Was he peeking at us? Gross. Ew! He should get caught by the police before he does something crazy! No, I'm just here for... Uh, hey! I I I'm so sorry about this! Uh, I think our bags were switched when we bumped into each other. Why do you have Mizuki's PE bag with you? Oh my gosh, did you steal it from her? No way! I bet he's a psychopath! It wasn't like that! After that, the girl spread rumors that I stole Mizuki's bag on purpose. Nobody believed the word I said. I was a loser with no friends. Although it was an accident, my heart aches for Mizuki. She kept her head down and wouldn't speak a word. Uh, why is this happening to me? I was reflecting on the P.E. bag thief incident from today when my phone started ringing, which never happens. Hmm? I don't know this number. Hello, who is this? It's me. This voice? It's... Uh, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm feeling so lonely right now. I was hoping you'd come over to my place to comfort me. Um, uh, do you know who you're talking to? I'm the loser. I know. Please, come over to my place. It has to be you, Shingo. I can't ask anybody else for help. Please. Hmm, she sounds so desperate and in need of help. Maybe being the loser of the class might come in handy in helping her. Mom, I'm going out for a bit. What? Where are you going so late at night? Shingo! I heard my mother and sister yelling in the background. <laughs> it was like, okay, I'll be right there. I can't believe he's actually on his way. <laughs> this is hilarious. He's so easy to trick. So pathetic. <laughs> he never learns, does he? He has no idea of what's going to happen to him. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I had no idea the girls were planning something wicked. I called her as soon as I got to her door. <sighs> wow, you're already here. That was fast. Just a second. Huh? She sounds different from before. Maybe she has calmed down and is feeling better. The door is open, so come on in. There's a bedroom on the right. 
Why on the bad and wait for me? Uh, okay. Wait, what? Did she just tell me to lie on the bed? <laughs> He's really here. This is too good. He doesn't know we're watching the whole thing. <laughs> what an idiot. I bet his heart is racing right now. He has no idea what's going on. I did as I was told. I went inside and entered the bedroom on the right side of the entrance. There. Oh, someone's in there. I could see a human form inside the covers. Plus... <sighs> it sounded like a woman breathing heavily. Oh, she must have been so upset. Is she hyperventilating? I... I need to help her right now. Oh, what? Who is that? Uh, hello? Did you flip the covers? Go on. Go lie down next to her. Wait, what? That's Mizuki. She looks nothing like she usually does. What is happening here? Um, about the whole PE bag thing. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to take your bag. I promise. I was utterly confused, but I knew I had to say something to break the silence. I decided to apologize to her. Don't worry about it. We both made a mistake. It wasn't just your fault. The thing is, I need to talk to you about something, Shingo. <sighs> what a relief. She doesn't hate me. I never noticed, but Mizuki is beautiful. She looks so different. How did I not realize this? What is it? Shingo, I like you. Will you sleep with me? What? I bet that one day a girl is going to call you out to ask you out. And you're gonna find out she's just doing it as a joke. Why does everyone keep trying to pull things on me? It's even more shocking because I would never have expected this from Mizuki. She seems so honest. Uh, uh, uh. This isn't happening. This can't be happening! Uh, I can't believe Mizuki would be willing to do that to me. My mind wandered back to the start of high school. Come on in! We have the deluxe curry bread today! You can only buy it here! This is Keita. His dream is to work at every high school in Japan. He started working right about when I entered high school. <sighs> he's so full of energy. Okay, I guess I'll try the deluxe curry bread since he's recommending it. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you take it. Oh, no, it's okay. You take it. That was my first conversation with Mizuki. I still have some in the back. You can both buy it. <laughs> <laughs> huh? And that was the first time I saw Mizuki smile. I felt my blood suddenly rushing through my veins. It was the first time I felt anything like that. I think I know now. It was love at first sight. But Mizuki was... <gasps> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, I should have known what they were up to. You started yelling and ran out of the room. What was up with that? Oh, jeez. You should man up, you know. I don't want to listen to them anymore. Uh, I am so sick of you three picking on me all the time. Wait. We weren't picking on you or anything. She's telling the truth. We did this all for Mizuki. Wait. For Mizuki? What is she talking about? Why would Mizuki want to do this? I don't understand. Oh my gosh, you ignorant thing. How can you not see that Mizuki has feelings for you? She was so worried about you the whole day. Since everybody thought you purposely stole her PE bag. Mizuki was always too scared to confess her feelings for you, but she decided to tell you whether you accepted her or not. Because she thought that would be the only way to save your face. What? Mizuki did that to save me? But she wasn't sure if she could trust you fully, and... She wanted to see if you had what it takes to be a man, so... We pretended to pull a prank on you to see how you would react. Since she was going to confess her feelings, we decided to do a makeover on her, so she would look her best. <laughs> oh gosh, Mizuki did that all for me. I... I screwed up badly. I need to fix this. I need to get back to where Mizuki is. Hold, Hold it! it. Uh, they worked so hard to doll me up, <laughs> but he dumped me. Oh, it sucks, but I'm glad he'll sort out all accusations against Shingo. Mizuki! Shingo? Uh, 
What happened to you? I told them I was coming to see you, and they helped me out. Is it weird? Oh, no. Um, that looks suits you well. I thought you said what you did to pull a prank on me. I'm sorry I stormed out on you. They told me why you did it. I really appreciate it. So, there's something I need to tell you, too. To tell you the truth, ever since we reached for the same curry bread at the kiosk that day, I've had feelings for you, Mizuki. I know I'm not perfect, but will you go out with me? I've died to you since that moment, too. You've always been the one for me. I don't want anybody else. I would love to go out with you. You know, I never knew you were close to those three girls. We met in middle school. I understand how nobody saw we were close. They shine bright, unlike me. Mizuki, to me, you shine more than anybody else. Aww. Welcome! Come check out the vase of good luck! Make sure you don't get fooled again. Uh -huh. But the more I think about it, things started flowing once I bought this necklace. Don't be silly! <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here! We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!